This is actually like kind of heartbreaking. I really wasn't expecting there to be so much like underlying sadness in an album called I Love. I love more like I sad. Hello Claire Bears, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. Folks, we have reached a pivotal moment in my idol journey. This is the final album that I am behind on in their discography, which is I Love, and it is the last album that came out before I started my idol journey. So this is the beginning of the end. I know I still have some other things to cover, like Mian solo album and Soyeon solo album, which I definitely will be covering. So we're going to make today count. We're going to react to the entire album, and we're going to do it in order question mark? I had received multiple comments from you telling me that I should react to this album in reversed order. So essentially start with the final track on the album and work my way backwards because that is how the story was meant to be told. According to the Idol Wiki, it says the tracks in the EP are listed in reverse as it narrates the process of love, starting with track six of someone experiencing love to track one of loving themselves. So sounds like we're going to go on a journey today. It feels like that's fitting for my final idol album so let's get to the video but before we do please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel For today's beverage of the day, I decided to make my own mocktail. I want to have something special for this album, so I'm not sure what to call it. Maybe the I Love Idol mocktail. That's not a very good name. If you have a better idea, <laughs> let me know. But it's a combination of cherry limeade sparkling ice, a tablespoon of lime juice, and some mint that I picked fresh from my garden. I haven't tried it yet. Josh tried it and said it was tasty, so let's give it a whirl. Ooh, tastes very fresh and kind of like zesty. But all right, friends, let's get to the final song of the album, but the first song of this video, which is Dark X-File. So I thought first what I would do is I would watch the X-File video, which seems like it might be kind of like a preview of the song and then react to a lyric video after that. But it looks like Soyan wrote this song and it was composed by Yuki. When I hear the title Dark X-File, it doesn't exactly sound like a song that would be about love, but I have a feeling that it's going to be a good one. So let's listen to X-File. Hide it so you can never find it. Oh, I forgot about Soyeon's hair. I love the cropped hair on her a lot. Ooh. Feels like breath. is dark. Ooh, what did that phone say? Idol are on the edge. Are they being forgotten? <gasps> At least not by me, probably not by you either. It says, idol who are continuing on their road of success like this are now the center of a huge rumor, the bright and dark sides of a band in their fifth year. Hmm, so this is definitely the dark side that we're getting. Yeah, this was a really bad comeback for me to start out with because they all have blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, Chris, so I had such a hard time. Kiss me. Don't you know it's a show anyway? Yeah. But yeah, sorry. I had such a hard time. I had such a hard time distinguishing between them at the beginning because I just like see the photo of the five of them together and was just like, uh, uh, uh. Now, obviously, I can tell them apart easily, but it was a journey at the beginning, and I'm gonna backtrack. Kiss me. Don't you know it's a show anyway? Yeah. I'm excited to see the lyrics to this. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was such a like good place to cut off because now I'm just really wanting more and I want to listen to the rest of this. And I feel like Idol really pulls off that edgier concept with other groups it can feel like a little bit put on at times but it definitely does not feel put on at all with idol so let's listen to the full version of x file now Baby, why are you down? Wanna take a puff of my joint Mini, this is so bold because I know like I know how hard of a stance Koreans take when it comes to drugs and that even like smoking weed in a country where weed is legal like here in Canada they could be tested for drugs when they return home and possibly face jail time for that so this is a very bold line to be starting out on for this album Wanna take a puff of my joint? Call me not in Yeah, fire shot. Go get down, girl, Jim. Bumble in the wheel, some girl, Jim. Bumble in the wood and good in the wood. Destroy each other like an enemy. That beat is just so like emphatic. Dirty loves color. Why not just be evil? <laughs> oh my gosh, it feels like them being swallowed up by darkness, this song. There's like a grit to it. Yeah, it's quite the start here with X-File. Well, I guess Dark X-File. My goodness. And it gave me very like villain dies vibes with this very like tortured feeling to it. Like kill the truth, me and you. I cannot end anything. Not being able to leave a trace, the X file that needs to be destroyed. And you know, Soyan talking about being evil. And it kind of feels like they're trying to corrupt somebody in this. Like people get sick of their nice, why not be evil instead? And just the slow, like pounding rhythm of this song too. I feel like Soyeon's composition along with Yuki's songwriting just made this a really like delicious <laughs> song. I don't know why. Delicious is just like the word that comes to mind. So we're off to a good start slash end. Next we are going to check out Sculpture which is our mini song of the album. Maybe we'll have multiple 
mini songs, who knows, but also written by Soyan. Oh, and this is interesting. It says, Sculpture draws heavily from the myth of Galatia and Pygmalion. Pygmalion was an artist who created a sculpture of the perfect woman and immediately fell in love with it due to its perfection, prompting Aphrodite to bring it to life. Here, idol become willing Galatias, molding themselves to fit their partner's needs and desires in a desperate bid to not be left behind again. And even as it's clear this does not work, as they admit their own unhappiness and the cracks in the facade, they refuse to give up, stating that it's easier to lose themselves than their partner. Ooh, this is a full ass drama. But then part of me is just like, no, I don't, don't do this. Just love yourself because you know, like just be yourself, just love yourself. And that should be enough for your partner to be enough for you. And you don't need to fit yourself to someone else's mold. And that's, you know, what's going to lead to that unhappiness and the cracks in the facade. So I hope that we're gonna reach some kind of realization, whether it's by the end of the song or by the end of the album. I feel like they will based on the fact that it said that the first song is about like loving yourself, right? So anyways, let's get to it and listen to sculpture. Mm. She wants to be the statue. <laughs> you won't cut your hair short ever again. Mm. It feels very like needy, if you know what I mean. Ugh. This hurts <laughs> to see them be like this. That melody is so interesting. There's almost like an element of dissonance to it, which I imagine is by design because it's just like, it's not a melody that you would expect or that it exactly sounds like it fits, but <laughs> I think that's the whole idea of this song, right? I know <laughs> Can relate. Some of the themes remind me of like white. And there's this like sadness to the chorus. This like melancholic undertone to it. This is actually like kind of heartbreaking. Is it though? No, Mia. I just like feel their pain so much. Minnie is so good at just like writing those lyrics that just like pull at your heartstrings. Oh, my goodness. But I feel like it's something that so many people can relate to, whether it's like a relationship that you've been in before or just like if you 
really like somebody and maybe you are not their like ideal partner you might want to try to be more like that rather than just like either try to compromise or just be yourself but you know that's not something that's going to be sustainable and I've always thought like there should be a dating app for people where your profile is like exclusively your red flags and just like you get the red flags out of the way so there's no surprises later but anyways back to the song I think we've all been there I've definitely been there and one of my first relationships was like that where I just tried to be like the perfect partner because I was young I didn't know how to communicate my needs and my wants and I didn't feel like I could either because either like I would be judged or I would be ignored or I was just afraid so I totally totally relate to this feeling but now I feel like I'm on the other side of seeing why that that doesn't work and there's so many good lines in this that really capture that feeling so well of like I want to be that artwork you know you want to be admired like you're like your partner's trophy literally and I won't cut my hair short ever again this feels like a subtle dig at like beauty standards especially for women because you know it's kind of like having long flowing hair is more like desirable and shorter hair isn't as like feminine and like clearly waiting on this person hand and foot like when I hang around it's hard to contact you at night would you like to rest today keeping tabs on them at all times and then like catering to their every need it's just like they've lost complete autonomy and they're just enduring enduring that pain of being cut down and this line of it'll be easier to lose me rather than to lose you like in a way she's not wrong because like losing her isn't really losing much because it's not real it's like the creation it's like the fabrication of a person so there's just like less there if that makes sense so yeah my heart kind of kind of breaks for them and I hope that we're going to turn things around here with reset which is another writer so yan composer Yuki song focusing on the personal recovery after a long-term relationship comes to an end as well as making some painful realizations about yourself okay I think this is good <laughs> maybe some some short-term pain here but for long-term gain I guess we'll have to see so let's listen <laughs> you tell him, you can't. I like that she's doing things for herself. I like those acoustic guitars. Ooh. Mm, this is so beautiful. Five years of time became useless. No, I don't think that can be true because it's just like clearly (laughs) they've learned so much in that period of time. Like even the crappiest things that happen, like you become a better and a stronger person from it. That's my take. There's a lot of guys that like me. (laughs) I love the like jabs in this song. Hmm. 
This is like such a nice, beautiful song for such these like, like very strong feelings. Mm. These beautiful vocals. Oh, do you know what I just realized the song reminded me of is um, Breakaway by Kelly Clarkson. I think because of like the acoustic guitars and it sounds like C major, I think they're both in C major. And I felt like Soyeon's singing parts in this were really beautiful too. Mm. And even though they have some very like strong feelings, clearly there's some like doubt here like don't leave words i swallowed won't come back i should hold myself back would i be able to start a new love like you of you know even though i lost myself in this process can i even find love again i feel like i i felt similarly in that relationship that i was in that i talked about of just like i knew that he wasn't the right person for me but i was still just like almost more afraid of being alone and that was almost like a scarier prospect so there's like just so much so much of this album that i'm relating to but let's move on next to reset which is a mini and soyan song it says things take a turn for the dark with change oh no things were already kind of dark this is where mini and yuki's contract contributions start to appear, deviating from the brashness that is Soyan's signature into something more vulnerable. I love shifts from idol being in control to being at the mercy of their own emotions, driven to desperate actions out of a need to be loved. Ah, this kind of sounds like more of what I was just talking about. So they're not quite ready to move on yet. They still have maybe this, this period of trying to find themselves and understand who they are outside of their relationship, which is a very big and difficult question as I almost spilled my drink, but let's listen to change. Sounds so mini ish. Is this gonna be all English? <sighs> Your dreams disappeared. Chua's voice sounds so nice here. Hmm. I really like this one so far. I like this song is <laughs> saying so much. Mm. 
a lot of the beats in this album are very like punchy. Feels like they're trying to deliver a point, you know? <laughs> Not just like intense for the sake of being intense. really wasn't expecting there to be so much like underlying sadness in an album called I Love. Yeah, like <laughs> I feel so caught off guard by this. Like I love more like I sad. And it's really kind of heartbreaking like what they're what they're telling us in this song. Like thought that I had it all but it feels like nobody cares. And like all the things that they've been dreaming for is actually where their dreams disappeared. Of just like maybe whatever it was that they were looking for from this life as an idol. It's just like they're 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 not necessarily getting it, which obviously is like incredibly heartbreaking because I can't even begin to imagine what it is like to be famous. And just like as much as on paper it seems amazing with like the fame and the money and you know the talent and the good looks that you have, it's just like what more could you want in life? But it comes at a cost of like your privacy, your well-being because a lot of idols probably don't get a whole lot of sleep. A lot of them are on diets. They're just working constantly, don't have the time for like a life. So, you know, it seems like something that should be like really great and glamorous, but I'm sure there's just like so many things that they they miss that the the truth is not that beautiful and now there's kind of like this big question mark around what's going to happen to idol because of everything with with cube and and their contracts expiring and i really kind of wonder if everything that went on with sujin just like made them a little bit more bitter about the kind of like the dark side of the industry and what can happen so you know i'm hoping that this was just a down day for Minnie when she wrote this song and that this is not just like a feeling that really persists constantly. So yeah, I really hope, I hope that they are well, but I really did like the song. <laughs> I think this is my favorite so far, but we're gonna watch a live clip of Change now. I wanted to get a look at the lyrics first before watching the live clip because there were no captions for the live clip and, you know, really wanted to get a sense of what the song was about before we dived into the live clip. So let's do that now. This is looking like a music video, not a live clip. <laughs> But there are captions. Interesting that this is in black and white. Unrelated, but I really like her eye makeup there. Where do you think they're going? I mean, you probably know, you probably seen this. <laughs> they going to a red carpet?
They just look so sad. They're really like, conveying the emotion of these lyrics. And it seems like they're almost saying these things to themselves, not one another. She's kind of like Minnie saying it almost like out the window. So we never find out where they're going. Also, I realize now, in hindsight, I could have just reacted to that clip <laughs> instead of the lyric video. But how was I supposed to know? All I see is that there is no captions and I would have had to fast forward into the video to see them. And obviously I'm not gonna do that. And part of this song too kind of feels like vintage idol. Like it makes me think of something that might be off of like I Burn. Yeah, that song really does just like get you right in the feels and make you hope that everything is all right with them. And if it's not, like, Nevies are here to support you. Like, if they quit tomorrow because they'd had enough, I would not hold that against them at all. And I would want them to do what's best for them. So, you know, if they decide to part ways after their contract expires, like, obviously, I'll be sad in the short term. I feel like true true Neverland will want them to pursue what they want to pursue, whether that's you know, solo career or whether it's just stepping away from idol life completely. But all right, friends, I have refreshed my beverage and we're going to move on to Love, which is a purely Soyeon song and a post breakup track. It is both the calmest track and the one with the strongest punk vibe. Ooh, so is this gonna have like a never stop me vibe then? But it is a celebration of their current position on top of the world and they have no qualms about thanking the tr <laughs> thanking the trash for taking itself out. Savage. Sardonic and sarcastic, love is the embodiment of revenge by living well, showing idol focusing on themselves and their career as they savor their success. Yes. I'm so glad <laughs> they're turning things around here. And is it just me or does this kind of in a way feel like the stages of grief because dark felt like denial mixed with anger sculpture felt like bargaining and then reset and change were both kind of like the depression stage and now it seems like we're at acceptance i don't know if that was intentional but that's what it feels like but i'm so glad i'm so so glad <laughs> that I listened to these in reverse order because I would have ended very sadly. And I'm really, really curious as to why they decided to do that in that way. Is it some kind of commentary on like, you know, relationships aren't linear, progress isn't linear. But again, we're going to start here with the lyric video and then watch, there was a special clip I think for love. So let's listen to love. I'm excited to hear them be happy. Hey ex boyfriend, hi mm. ex. Shaku is time, time I don't dare. You have to get back, get back. I get to my mother. They have moved on. I love it. This is so cyan of just being like over it. She really said, I forgot about you. You were that forgettable. Hmm. 
<laughs> and this song like is really not about love at all or it is it's like self-love but not romantic love life idol. I am here for this. <laughs> this hits so much harder when it's the last song and not the first. I'm lucky if I'm alive. My love is myself. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I'm so happy. I could cry. Tears of happiness. If I don't choke on the mint in my drink. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I love that ending. Because we really, we really went on a journey there. And it seems like after everything they went through, that ending with this feeling of self-love is just like so satisfying. <laughs> and just like wanting to be married and wanting an amazing love. Like the want isn't enough like it has to be the right person the right time the right circumstances like so much <laughs> so much of love is like so luck based because like if you have a partner how did you meet this person was it just like a stroke of fate do you just happen to be like on the same app at the same time you just happen to be in the same class as person you just happen to be born in the same area of this person there's so many things that just like have to align for you to find the person you love and i personally don't believe in true love but i'm definitely not going to stop anybody who does because i could understand how someone might think that's real how everything just really has to come together and the stars just like have to align but for idol in this case self-love <laughs> is enough so i'm so excited now to see them hopefully be happy <laughs> in this special clip and watch them feel these feelings of of self-love so yeah let's do it <laughs> that just made me think of like you know back in the day when you would get a call on your like flip phone it would, it would make your speakers go like doop, 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 doop. yes anyways i love that bob look on her so much i hope she does the short hair again one day Just like suits her so well. I'll get you, mama. Lab is perfect. Right after we're tour, mega scenes. Ready to see if I've got you. Won't be back at the motor. Got the car. I love her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the crop hair looks so good on all of them, honestly. I 
It looks like they were just recording a shoot or something when they filmed this. I love their nails in this. I'm a nails girly. I love the sass. <laughs> the piano break. They all just look so cute in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love how they did that. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a wonderful note to end on. But we aren't going to end here because we are going to watch the dance practice for nude. This is so parasocial of me to say. But it feels like you're just like friends of theirs on a call with them like on FaceTime. And they're telling you about how they've like come to this realization, right? But they just do such a good job at like inviting you in in that sense. And making you like feel those feelings of self-love like by proxy. It just like it warms your heart, you know. So let's come back full circle to the beginning of my idol journey where I reacted to nude and my first time reacting to idol video that I uploaded almost two years ago at this point. So if you'd like to check that out, then you can visit that up here, but we're going to end off on the dance practice now for nude. Why you think about nude? Cause you feel so rude. <laughs> Like usual, I will have to try to prevent myself from singing. <laughs> I love the sassiness of this choreo. Stupid EA app. Okay, sorry. Let's keep going. I backtracked a little bit. Yeah, it's very like coquettish, this choreo. <laughs> she just looks like extra small for some reason in this in practice. <laughs> oh, I love all the different formations in this.
I love this choreo. Oh, and they've come so close. <laughs> funny because like I really like nude but I wouldn't say it's in like my top five idol tracks but every time that I do listen to it I just like have so much fun with it and it feels like such a classic idol song of just like their bite but at the same time it's really hard to like <laughs> define a classic idol song because that's what I've come to discover through my entire idol journey is just like they have no one distinct sound they can pull off so many different genres and vibes but there's just like this underlying theme that connects them all of just like idol letting you have it. I don't know how else to put it. Soyan and Co are just never afraid to address controversial topics or really make these kind of like biting criticisms of whether it's idol culture or just like society more broadly. I just don't know of another group in K-pop that is doing that sort of thing and it are that are taking the risks that idol take. So yeah, I'm just like <laughs> I feel kind of like emotional now that we've reached the end and I know realistically it's not the end and I'm still gonna be here and I'm still gonna be reacting to Idol when they come out with new albums if they do fingers crossed but you know like I said it's been almost a two-year journey for me discovering Idol's music and it's just been like such such a privilege to be able to share this with all of you. My first time reacting to Idol video was the first video on my channel to reach 100,000 views and my Idol videos just like consistently get some of the most views on my channel so I just feel so privileged and, and blessed to have so many people join me on this journey and whether you know you've commented on a video before and we've interacted before or whether you've just been passively watching videos you know maybe this is your first video that you've watched i just appreciate every single one of you so so much and you've made the process of getting to know idol just like that much more enjoyable so yeah really cannot cannot thank you enough for being part of this journey and for joining me on it. I really, really hope that you were able to get enjoyment out of my reactions, that maybe it made you think a little bit more about their music or made you look at things a different way or find even new enjoyment in their music. I would really, really love to hear from you. Even if you've never commented on one of my videos before, I would just be so, so happy to chat and just Thank you personally for for joining me on this journey so friends that is it i have finally reacted to idol's entire main discography on my channel we're not quite done yet of course i'm going to be keeping up with any new content that comes out and i'm also going to be checking out mian's solo album soyan's solo album but if there's anything else that i've missed any other content that you think i should check out i would really really love to do like a compilation video reaction or just like reacting to idol memes or something along that line i've done that for some of the other artists i've covered on this channel and it's just so so fun to get into like the fun and silly content from a group so if you have any compilation videos that you really enjoy or just like youtubers that make really great compilations of idol clips then definitely send those my way and i might react to them so yes it's definitely not the end of idol content on this channel but it definitely feels like a period at the end of of a sentence for my coverage of idol on this channel so i'm definitely not going to be going anywhere i hope that you aren't either but until my next idol video i hope that you are doing well staying safe taking care of yourself and i hope that you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day <laughs>